Good Monday morning, folks. It's almost 9 o'clock. I have to hurry up and get to the store, go pick up my husband's insulin, and then I have to go to work in a couple hours. So yay for all of that. And yay for another beautiful day. Oh, I'm just loving this warm weather, guys. Whew. And if it sounds like I have a cold, I don't really have a cold. I just have some sort of, um, you know how the spring brings all that massive pollen? And my area is just really, really bad for pollen and allergies. That's what all this is. I'm not sick. I don't have a cold necessarily. It's just a lot of blockage going on. So I'm going to apologize in advance for all this mess. I am going to Food Lion. It is the closest grocery store to me and I'm kind of in a bit of a time crunch. And I have no kids with me. Even though it is spring break. I just want to go ahead and get this done because I have lots and lots of stuff to do today. So the first thing I snagged was a pizza for later on in the week. I'm actually over in the deli department. Um, it's the first department that you see once you come in and I just headed in that direction go ahead and get some things off my list I'm gonna go ahead and snack some meat too um Jana requested some sandwich stuff that she could eat just trying to see what they have that looks like honey ham I'm not sure what that is that's honey ham this is all honey ham that's good though and over here there's some Looks like chicken. Yeah. Here's some provolone cheese. Lucy's circle cheese as she calls it. So I'm gonna snag this one since it's on sale. Big old bottle of ketchup. Ugh. I'm gonna grab the two kits up here the hard and soft shell and I'm gonna go swing back and grab some more tortillas and Miss Jaina made a special request she loves Takis um, these are actually pretty pretty darn good if you like spicy foods and spicy snacks I'm snagging some bananas I eat bananas daily Grabbing some spaghetti noodles for one night this week. I'm not sure when. I haven't done a meal plan for the week because the kids are out and I'm just gonna kind of have to go with the flow when the kids are home. Uh, where's the sauces? And I need four cheese and it has to be specifically four cheese. Here we go down here. And I also need my garden. Where is it? I can't even find it. Here we go. I like this one. Where you can see like the chunks of vegetables in the sauce. More mac and cheese. Never have enough of these on hand. I need my spray and my cooking oil too. Ugh. I do need a bag of sugar, mostly for baking. Um, for coffee and stuff, we usually use uh, substitutes, but I need actual sugar for baking. The Triscuits are buy one, get one free. I might snag a couple of these. Um, oh, roasted red pepper and red bean. That looks good. And maybe the cracked pepper down here. Where is it? Let me snag this one and where's my cra I love cracked pepper guys and I can't find it. There we go, right here. It was hiding from me. 
And I'm gonna grab some of these because the kids are home all week. These are also buy one get one for you, so I'm gonna snack two of these. And he needs more peanut butter crackers, so I'm gonna grab a big old box, a an eight pack. A big bag of chips and snack mix. Seems like I'm buying a bunch of crap for my kids this week. It's because I am. Don't judge me. Pepsi products are three for five, so I'm gonna grab a Dr. Pepper, a Diet Dr. Pepper, and then some Diet Pepsi too. We are down the most important aisle I need. You see that? Do you see that? I'm also gonna pick up a case of water really fast too. Always like to have water on hand. So I snagged this pack right here. Something about the packaging is just like just really warm and welcoming. And it's got like 36 pickups. So So we're just gonna skip the whole seafood aisle. For those of you who don't know, I'm allergic to seafood. Um, I can't eat fish, shrimp, lobster. Um, I can eat sea fauna, which is really weird because I can eat seaweed. But I think maybe I can eat crab too, but I don't want to risk it. Now I'm down the hamburger aisle. I'm trying to find some really good deals, but I need something like any one of these big, you know, feed a, a dozen type packages. That's five, that's not even five pounds. a little more though. No, that's not. That's less. I think we're going to go for that one. Yeah, let's go for this one. I came across the chicken breast taco kit. This is so funny. Look, it's got the breast, the sauce, and the guacamole, the limes, the jalapenos, and the tortillas. And it's like eight dollars. Which is what, you know, you'll, you'll probably spend a little more putting it together yourself because chicken breast isn't a crack of cheese. I might actually pick this up. This is sub kit. I just might actually get it. Just for the sake of having sandwiches stuff on hand for the week. It's salami, bologna, and still can. Put over here. Yeah. Here we go. I love love, love some good old roast beef. So I'm picking up some smoked sausages. These are really good. Just toss them in the pan, toss some barbecue sauce on them. Makes a quick, easy meal for the kids. My sausage is actually on sale. It's two for six. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Picking up a container of natural bliss creamer this is so so good and in my opinion it's worth the money usually I don't spend a lot on creamer but this is absolutely one of my favorites picked up some milk some chocolate milk I am down the freezer section I do need to grab some yogurt really fast because I love some yogurt and the kids actually will eat yogurt too which is good so I'm gonna grab maybe uh, I like the Jobani. Where's the Jobani? I'm a Jobani girl. I don't care what anybody says. I love some Jobani. Let me grab the blueberry. So I just picked up two containers of Jobani blueberry. Um, I was going to go to Sam's Club today. I just don't have the time. I have just a lot of crap I have to do. I might go after work. I, I highly, highly doubt it. Um, I need to pick up some pepper jack cheese some shredded cheddar cheese, which is over here. Uh, there's like the huge... I always pick up the big bags. That way I'm not running back and forth and we always have what we need. The sharp shredded cheddar. Here we go. Yeah, that's like the two pounds for eight dollars. So... What, Munster or Colby? 
Monster cheese is really good. But I think I'll go with my pepper jack, of course, and maybe just the sharp cheddar slices. It's like a four pack for 99 cents, which isn't bad. Of course, the big, they don't carry like the big, yeah, they do, yeah, they do, I see it. Like the eight packs for like three dollars. It's be cream salted. Unsalted. I now need some bread. Um, I need like the biggest loaf of bread I can find for my tribe. They used to have two pounds. Here we go. That'll work. Two pounds. And a hamburger buns. Because I do want to do hamburgers this week sometime. I'm trying to find my husband his general sow's chicken. Um, he is a diabetic and he does kind of watch his diet. But there are, there are certain things that he does like. And I will get it every once in a while. Here we go. Wait, they don't have general sows. They have sweet and sour. They have the stir fry. But I don't see his general. Oh, he's going to be so mad. I don't see general sows anywhere. Oh, wait. The, the little containers, maybe, but. Sorry, babe. This is all they have. Right here. That's it. That'll work. That'll have to work. Because all the big bags are like the sweet and sour. Oh, wait. Yep, here we go. Haha. -ha. If it was a snake, it would have bitten me. I'm in the freezer. I'm like halfway, like waist deep in the freezer trying to get his general sows. There we go. Ha. I won that round, guys. So I think they stopped selling Lucy's French toast sticks, uh, the ones with the extra cinnamon on them. Um, which I mean, I can always get French toast and just dump cinnamon on them, but it was a brand that I could actually get her to eat, which is very, very hard for her to do. But I'll just go, I'll just grab some French toast, some regular, uh, I guess. Dang, man. The minute I get her to eat something, they stop selling it. <sighs> the mozzarella sticks uh, are a favorite in my household. <sighs> so are the pizza rolls. Um, I normally don't buy a lot of junk food like this, but it's spring break. And I have to work, and then we have to travel a few days this week, and I just, I really don't care right now, guys. I'm in a good mood. The kids are in a good mood. Um, here we go. Pizza rolls. Ha! I now have to go get my husband's insulin from the pharmacy. I don't know if I ever told you guys if we switched pharmacies. Um, we went from CVS because of all the trouble we were having to the Walmart pharmacy. And they seem to be a lot nicer and a lot um, more friendlier. Um, I don't know if I ever told you guys the story of, of one day I was here with Jaina and this guy was getting really rude and uppity with the cashiers and I don't know what the whole story was I don't know everything about it but I know these girls are around my daughter's ages and I do know that Jaina will be around their age in a few years which is really hard to think about but I do know every time I come in here these girls are always friendly are always helpful always do their job professionally these are young kids I mean I want to say maybe 
16, 17, 18, 19, maybe around there. Always nice, always nice to us when we come in. They know Annie, they know Lucy, they know Jaina, and um, they're very nice to my family. They're always giving Lucy and Annie extra room when they need it. They're always just helping me if I need it. They're always just very, um, they, they always go out of their way for us if we need that extra help. But one day when I came in here, they had this big issue with a customer and the guy was getting really loud and really rowdy. There's no excuse for that type of behavior ever. And when they came out to the car, the girl at the cash, uh, the girl at the register didn't want to come and get, my guess light came on, the girl at the register didn't want to come and get the carts because she was just, she just didn't want to confront the guy. And the cart carousel was parked by to the cart where they were getting in. So she didn't want to come out here and do her job. She was afraid of this guy. I was like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I got this. Because she was just honestly scared to come out by herself. And <clears throat> Jane and I went out and we got like the carts for her. And I said, I was just, I was, I was fuming. I was mad because he treated her in such a way where it made her scared to do her job and I was just I wanted to confront this guy I wanted to be like look asshole <laughs> you don't treat people like that ever <laughs> because these are girls who are just trying to do their job and I can't stand when people bully people like that or make them feel small like that it just it really really bothers the hell out of me so I don't know. Jane and I actually got their carts that day. And I was like, here you go, honey. Don't even worry about it. And I said something to him. I don't remember what exactly I, just, I said. It was something to the effect of, it's a shame people have to act the way that they do. Or something. I'm paraphrasing. But Jaina was like, mom, mom, mom. No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because <laughs> she knows me. She knows how I can be if... It, if a certain situation arises she's just trying to get me to go so I won't so we won't get in trouble <laughs> I'm home and they haven't seen me yet oh no I've been spotted I've been spotted Help!